So I've done a lot of videos on topics like how to get a guy into you, how to tell if he's interested, things that guys like, etc, etc. But something I don't really focus on is the, the subtle ways guys tell you that they're not interested. And honestly, it can be pretty hard to spot if you're looking through love goggles. I mean, you can interpret him asking you a question as flirting, even though sometimes it's really just, uh, it's just a question. So today I wanted to try and help by giving you some obvious signs and some easy tests that you can do to find out whether or not he's actually down. So let's just get on into it. The easiest and biggest giveaway that he is not down to clown is that he just makes no effort to text you, to hang out with you, just to keep the conversation going. If he's being short with you in any of these contexts, it's not a good sign. But I mean, maybe he's just awkward or a bad texter or uh, very forgetful. And I don't think if this just happens like once or twice, that's a really big deal, but if it starts happening pretty frequently, you should probably see if he's doing the other signs in this list. Because right now it's looking like he might not be feeling it. The next red flag is if he doesn't remember things. A big factor in seeing if someone likes you is if you tell him something about yourself or even just a random fact, he'll remember a lot more of it. So it really just makes sense that if he's not interested, he'll forget even the most basic stuff you tell him. And I mean, this could really be anything. Like if he offers you peanuts and you are very notably deathly allergic to peanuts, he must really not care. Speaking of not caring, another big red flag is that he does not care about your relationships with other guys. In a relationship, I am the furthest thing from a jealous person, but if I like someone and I hear about them hanging out with some dude or see them chatting it up really hard, I'm gonna get jealous. Cause if I haven't asked her out yet or talked to her all that much, for all I know, these two lovebirds are about to run off together and live the rest of their lives very happily. And I'll be damned if that happens and it's him and not me. I probably wouldn't actually do anything, but it would bug me to no end because mentally I wanted that, but I just hadn't made a move yet. Anyway, someone who's not interested would act the opposite of that. You'd be flirting with another guy right in front of him and he wouldn't even notice because he's not interested. He's not threatened by another dude if he's not into you. And then on the reverse side of that is if he's not interested, he'll have no problem talking to girls or about girls around you. And it, it doesn't have to be, ugh, I want to get up in that or anything that crass. It could, it could literally be anything slight. For example, if I'm around a girl that I like, the only time I will ever say the words Who's that? Is in reference to some dude because I'm like, oh, what is the nature of your relationship? It's just like being on boyfriend alert. You're not dating him? Good. When a guy's not interested in a girl, around her he's way more likely to ask, who's that, about a girl instead of a guy. Because at this point he's not threatened by any potential boyfriends, he's seeing a girl that you might be friends with and being like, oh damn. Who's that? And I think even beyond that, what might be more noticeable is that he'll probably just check out girls around you. And he'll probably be pretty obvious about it too because he's not in any way worried about you noticing because he's not into you. Another really big red flag is that he will never ask about your life. If you've ever asked someone a question like, how many siblings do you have? Or what's your favorite thing? Generally the thing to do if you want to continue talking to this person is to answer with some details, right? Like. I have an older sister, she does this, etc. But if he's not interested, he might just be short with you and answer in just a few words, let alone ask you anything back. And then there are people who are just super into themselves and will give you a very long and detailed explanation answering the question and just never ask you. These are the people who just wanna talk about themselves. Into you or not, don't. Don't date these people. Number six or seven, or I don't know, I just picked a random number really because I haven't been keeping count, is if you try and make plans with him and he never has time. Maybe he agrees to hang out and then bails last minute, or maybe he's just busy all the time. The thing is, this is kind of BS because if someone's into you, even if their life is super busy, they're either gonna find a way to make it work and spend some time with you, or they're at least gonna find a way to make it very obvious that they're really trying. Maybe weekends are terrible, but next Thursday night I could do for three hours. Anything that shows that even though it's not easy, he wants to see you. And if he's not willing to put in that effort, then he probably doesn't really care. And the final red flag is that he just doesn't treat you any differently than anyone else. Maybe you're just one of the guys to him. If he's nice, but never too nice, maybe he's just a nice person. Or if it seems like he's flirting, but he's also like that with other girls, maybe he's just a really flirty type of person. That's just his personality. It doesn't necessarily mean anything. And I think that's where a lot of people get rubbed the wrong way. Because the fact is, 
Everything comes down to context. I have done a ton of the things that I've said in my own videos that guys do when they like girls. Two girls that are just my friends. And it's because there's more to flirting than just smiling and asking someone questions. There's a vibe, there's a mutual understanding. When it's two people who are genuinely flirting with each other, there's a, I'm into this person and I'm pretty sure this person's into me, thought that's going through both of their heads. So if it is keeping you up at night, wondering if this guy likes you back and you've gotten no real signs that he does, it sucks to say, he probably doesn't. And that's not to say that he never will. Maybe he doesn't even know that you like him or that you're even like an option. And even if he does, it's not to say there's anything wrong with you. He's just not down. And that is something that I think everyone on earth deals with at one point or another. So get a tub of ice cream and cry about it. I know that's what I do. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please let me know by giving it a big thumbs up. And let me know in the comments if you've ever had to hint to someone that you weren't interested in them and what you did. I'm really excited to read those, so please, down below. On screen right now are some of my favorite comments from the last video where I asked you guys what are some of the craziest first lines people have used to introduce themselves. And just remember, I do this every week, so make sure you leave your comment down below so I can feature you in my next video. I also want to give a big shout out to Madison Young, who I'm pretty sure liked every single photo of mine, so holy crap. Thank you, Madison. You're the best. Also, Shani left this huge, adorable comment on my last pic, so you're adorable. Thank you so much. And also, shout out to Melissa, who's a new follower, and you're from my city, so how can I not like you? So go follow those three, and make sure that you're following me and active on my Instagram to get featured next week. My Instagram handle is just Andrew Quo, so it's pretty... Pretty easy to remember. It's also gonna be in the description below, so you can just click that. Finally, subscribe to me so that you never miss an upload, and click over here to watch more advice videos. And with all that being said, I'll see you next time. Peace!